Welcome back to Crazy Dave's Crew. I'm Laura, and you're watching Thursday Threads. So I'm continuing my exploration of disappearing blocks, and today I want to do one with a fence rail. So I just went to Walmart, made it real quick and easy, picked up these are in the, the section, like, uh, I think, where all the fat quarters are. They're hanging up. So I picked up a package, and I used all five colors, and I just sewed them together in my strips. I measured the height. And then I cut out blocks. And these should all be equal. I'm going to double check. Yes. Yep. Double checking. And I must have had either these are a little bit bigger than two and a half inches, or I did a scant quarter inch just a smidge less than a quarter inch seam because it should be ten and a half and it's coming out to be almost eleven now the other thing I'm gonna do that I've already done so I just took some black and I cut them just a smidge bigger uh, always can I can always cut off but I can't add on so I cut these a little smidge bigger and I think I was kind of tired that night because they're not perfect uh, but that's okay and <clears throat> and part of the reason why I say it's okay it's because there's going to be doing some cutting and we'll be squaring up and different things. But we're going to make this and a piece of black look like this. I'm just going to take my colorful strips face down onto a piece of the black. Let's sew it around. Shall we? I am using my quarter inch piecing foot. And I think just for giggles, let's pin this down so that it doesn't move on me. And you can see my black's a little bit longer. So I'm going to follow my strip. And I'm just going to go straight in one corner, go all the way around. I love when I can take something and make something look that looks complicated. Pivot. 
around, right? But let's... I want to make sure that my seams stay flat. So there we go. Seamed all the way around. We're going to put it on my rotating mat. We're going to get a ruler and we're going to start cutting. Okay. So we finished sewing around. Now I'm just going to wear my seam, my little corner there. I'll put my ruler right at the corner. And right at the corner of my of my sewing and I'm going to cut corner to corner let's rotate it and let's do that again so corner to corner And then after we press, I think I would do it this way. Okay. Yeah, that one that way. That one that way. That one that way. And then, of course, keep adding two. And I said, that's the way I would do it. And then just continue the pattern on around. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I hope it has inspired you. This would make a wonderful, wonderful scrap. Using up your stash, stash buster, scrap buster. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook at Sewing and Crocheting for Beginners. Watch for me to change that, though. I think I think I want to rename that to, to Thursday Threads. But there'll be a link down below either way. Check us out at cdcrew.com and again on Facebook under Crazy Dave's Crew. And don't forget to check out our other channel, DIY Dave and Company. I'm so glad you joined us today. 
and I certainly hope you'll come back. Looking forward to seeing you next time right here on Crazy Dave's Crew. Thanks for watching. Bye.